Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 2, subject general science, chapter 13, light and shadow, part 2. Part 1 of this lesson, we learnt what is light. Light is nothing but it is a form of energy and it travels in a straight line. Okay, there are natural form of light. The only natural form of light is the sun. The man-made forms of light, sources of light are fire, candle, lantern, tube light, bulb. So this is what we learnt in, your, in our previous class. So what is a shadow? Where there is light, there always will be a shadow. Isn't it? So a shadow is an area of darkness when some objects block the light. When you are playing with the, uh, when you are sitting around a candle, if you try to block the path of the light, then there will be a shadow formed on the opposite side of the light. Okay, if you try to uh, hold your hand ne near the flame or uh, if you are uh, holding, if you are if you try to cover it, you can see a shadow formation. More and more, if you go out in the sun, okay, you can see that somebody like you is walking with you. What is that? That is nothing but shadow because of the sunlight, uh, sunlight right? It's a black, it's, it's, it's black color. So shadow forms in the opposite direction of which the light is coming. So the child is standing and the light is coming from the top. So the shadow is formed or below on the ground. So that is how the shadow works. Shadow forms in the opposite direction in which the light is coming. When the object blocks the li uh, light from passing through them, it creates an area of darkness. That area of darkness is called a shadow. The size of a shadow depends on how bright the light is. It all depends upon the how bright the light is. In which direction the light is falling on the object and the size of the object. These are the three factors which affect the uh, formation of the shadow. Okay, So the shadow also depends on objects blocking the path. It is not only about the shape of the object or how bright the light is or in which direction the light is. The, the light also, the shadow also depends on the object blocking the path of the light. So, light can pass through the glass. Light can pass through the glass. Windows, okay. Best example, windows. Where even if you close the window, there will be bright light in your house. Okay, if, you, if the house is directly towards the sun, then you will get the direct light from the sun. Some objects like paper cloth, like paper cloth, allow some lights to pass through it. Okay, like the curtains. Okay, some light. It does not allow the whole bright sunlight to come inside, but some light can pass through it. It depends on the quality of the cloth also. Some clo uh, curtains will be good enough to block the whole uh, sunlight or the light which is trying to enter. Then thick objects block the light completely. If you have a torch uh, and you are facing towards the wall, you just can see the wall and there will be no shadow on the other side. Okay, So it just completely block, blocks the path of light. Then is we will be learning about three different types of uh, light, uh, three different types of objects. That is transparent object, translucent object and opaque objects. Now, uh, they are dependent upon the uh, how the light passes through it. Okay, transparent means as the word itself says, you can see through it. You can see through it. You can see what is on the other side. That is called transparent. T-R-A-N-S-P-A-R-E-N-T. -E transparent objects. Transparent objects are the objects that allow the light to completely pass through them. Or pass through them completely. That means if you are standing on the other side of the uh, glass, for example, 
you can see that you can see what is there on the other side examples are glass water and air are transparent objects the cleaner the air or water the more transparent they are like water it is uh, orderless tasteless and colorless you can just see clearly through it you can see what is on the other side so glass water and air are the best example of transparent things okay you can just see what is there on the other side such objects are called transparent object next is translucent object t r a n s l u c e n t translucent t r a n s l u c e n t translucent objects are objects that allow only some part of light to pass through them just allows not completely okay you cannot see what is on the other side completely you can just see the small part that you cannot see clearly so such objects are called translucent objects translucent objects are the objects that allow some part of the light to pass through them example butter paper thin cotton thin layer of plastic all the three examples are pictures i have shown you first picture is the butter paper okay you can see through it but you cannot see completely thin cotton means the very thin layer of cotton you can see the light passing through it and the thin layer of plastic plastic uh, files you must have seen no you can see through it but not completely such objects are called translucent object next is about opaque object so opaque object we will learn in the next class okay so i hope you understood till now transparent translucent objects and uh, what is shadow what are light so i hope you are all doing well children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children try to do the exercises in your textbooks as well as your workbooks take the help of your parents and try to do them thank you children